Man, it's allergy season. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today I think I'm going to work on the wide body on the Subaru. I've been holding off on it for a while now and uh, I think I'm gonna get to it today. I really don't have the fitment for this car as it is and that's why I don't wanna work on the wide body but I don't really have anything else to do. I could fix the hood but I need to go buy a putty and all that body filler stuff and then it's just gonna be patched. That seems like it's gonna cost a little bit more, so I think I'm just gonna work on the wide body, and I'll probably, like I said, leave the car sitting. I probably won't use it as much anymore. I'm waiting on some gaskets to come in for this car. I need the turbo to downpipe gasket, and then the turbo to uppipe gasket. Since those are the gaskets I'm always blowing, I think I have an idea of how I'm gonna fix that. I'm not really sure right now though. I haven't really seen it done anywhere else. This hot side on this turbo is kind of messed up. I did break one of the studs. Well, I cut it off and then um, I couldn't get it out. The hot side on this turbo is bad, so I think what I'm gonna try to do to fix it should work. For the turbo to downpipe, there is an adapter for a that five bolt to V-band. And I think instead of doing that, I'll use my downpipe. I'll modify my downpipe again, another modification to the downpipe. See, that's the beauty of buying eBay stuff. You can modify it and it's only, it's really cheap, so it doesn't really hurt to cut into it or weld it or fuck it up because you can replace it easily. I do have to modify the downpipe, like I said, for that uh, five bolt to V-band, and then the downpipe is a little too long, so I'll have to cut it a little bit, like an inch or so, nothing crazy. I was looking at it the other day and it's doable. But that's not what we're working on today, we're working on the wide body and I'm gonna drill into everything today, I'm gonna set everything in. Right now I gotta move the E46, I kinda wanna pull the hood off of this car so that I can work on this hood as well. I need to weld the actual threads on the hood because that piece is loose inside of the hood. I need to line that up and then weld that on so it stays. So yeah, I got a couple things to do, I'm gonna probably pull off the hood um, after we're done with the wide body. I still have not gotten a battery for this car, so I have to keep jumping it every time I want to move it. But this car doesn't take very long to charge, which is odd. I really want to say it's a dead cell in the battery. Usually when the battery has a dead cell, it charges really quickly and it also dies really quickly. So I really want to say it's a dead cell. There's nothing else that I can really think of but a dead cell. started bumping the lip on stuff again now we're really close to the ground again that's probably as low as the flex pipe sits though so I'm honestly not all that excited to drill into the fenders just because if I do it wrong it's gonna be a hole there's gonna be a hole my first time doing it so I mean it's gonna be interesting I'm definitely gotta take care of that that's the whole reason why I'm doing this because I hate looking at this I think I'd rather see bad fitment than to see that crack so I'm going to start with taking the beauty washers and laying them up more or less where I want them to sit and drill the hole out. You seem like they're a little big, but this should be fine. They should line up. I'm going to get in there with probably like a center punch and then punch it out and so I can start drilling. I'm going to drill these out first so then when I put them on the car, I already have the hole here and I don't have to mess with putting the hole on the car and this thing at the same time and having it move around. I think that'd be the best way to install this. This is from when we tested fit it the other day and we put it just on this side with tape. Install should be pretty easy. That's kind of what it should look like once it's on. Still kind of loose in there. Yeah, I'm going to hit that with the center punch, drill it out, and I'll do that to probably all of the flares just to get it taken care of. See, this one's weird. This, uh, this rib in here is a little too small, so I'm going to have to hit these at an angle. Hopefully the bolts are long enough because the welnuts do stick out a little too far in. If I have to go get more hardware, I guess it wouldn't be too much of an issue, but I do want to use these because they are kind of flared and they meet up really well with the inside of there. I'm gonna try my best to put all of these on today. I've been worried I'm gonna lose this hardware because it's just been in a bag like this since I got it. But yeah, I'm gonna get to drilling these out, um, get that taken care of, then we'll start slapping it on the car and actually drilling the car. Okay, so I got the holes drilled out there. Now I'm gonna mount this up more or less where it's supposed to go. It's gonna be hard to do because this is really, truly really bent. The heat really heated it up and bent it weird.
I'm not sure where this would sit exactly. I don't know if it goes in a little or if it sits there. Yeah, it seems like that's right right there. Flush with the bumper. And then this has got to go on. All right, so this is as far as I got. My battery died, so I can't drill anymore, but this is as far as I got. This is going to sit back there. That hole is in, that rib nut is on. That one still needs to get drilled. This is completely on. One thing is that these are not lining up like very well. So when I throw this on, I'm going to have to put a bolt back here. I'll probably pull it off, make a hole like in here, put a bolt just so it stays flat with each other. But it's on. The first holes have been drilled. Like I said, I need to go pick up the other battery. It's in the E90 and it's not here. So I gotta go pick up the other battery out of the E90 and so I can finish at least this flare. We're gonna get started on the back because I really wanna see what the back is gonna look like. I really want that covered already. Let me go grab that battery and the charger so I can charge this one. And I'll pick up the camera once I probably get started back there. So Rafa came through, told me to heat up the fender flare. And I did. I heated up a piece. This sits flush now, but here there's still a gap i think i'm gonna leave it there for now either way when i do throw weather trimming on it it might push it in i'll heat it up later once i get the weather trimming it might just move the way this sits against the body so i'm gonna leave it there for now that looks a lot better than what it did a bit ago so now i just gotta mirror everything to the other side so we can get the fronts done next i have to do the back and for those, the flares really do not line up. So I really have to heat up those and mess with those. This looks a lot better. I got this to meet up. I put a bolt back here. So then those stay put and even. So I'm done with this flare for now. I'm not gonna touch this one anymore. I'm probably gonna take off one of the hardwares just so I can use it on the other side. I don't have many well nuts, so I can't throw everything on. I can't throw all the flares on. I don't have enough hardware to throw them on. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to put on probably the flares, leave the essentials on. I'm gonna pull the bumper panels off, the bumper skirts for the flares, and then I'll leave those off so I can put on the rest of the flares. I don't think those are very important. For the rear door, I'm not sure if I'm gonna throw those on. Those don't have any rivets. Those just go either with stubble-sided tape or with panel bond. So I'll figure those out once I get to them. I do, like I said, need to work on the rear flare a lot more because those are a lot harder, but we'll get those done as well. There shouldn't be, there shouldn't be anything too difficult, but the front is done. The front looks good. It actually looks pretty good. We're definitely gonna need a lot wider wheel though. Okay, so it's been a while since I updated, but um, this is where I am. I fixed the front flares. This one is a lot better than what it was. I heated it and now it's kind of warped. I might just heat it again, just so it warps itself like straight. One thing that I've noticed is this kind of works like the wrap where if you overstretch, if you heat it up, it'll contract for a certain amount. This looks like it might warp back into place, so I'll warp that one in. This one went on super easy. I literally put a bolt in between these two, so these two pieces are together. I bolted this one down, I bolted this down, and then I went on the other side, lined it up over there, bolted that one right there, that one, and then this one last. And this one, I only have one set of holes. On this side, I have a hole here, I have a hole hidden in here and a hole hidden in here. The rears I cannot get to fit at all. I thought these were gonna be easier, but I cannot get these to fit at all. I did a lot of modifying to this piece just right here, just so it lines up really well right there. And I only have one dot here, so I could punch this one and make this one. But honestly, this hole would not line up because it's right here in the crack. And this one right here sits somewhere in between here. And I think I'm missing like a mud flap or something. I know that they go here. There's a small piece that goes here. So I know I'm missing that. And that fits into this little ridge right here. Okay, so I have two problems. One, I'm out of wheel nuts. Two, these flares are not fitting. I'm gonna have to make different holes. This one will not line up. It will literally sit like too close to this crack. I'm pretty sure the well nut will not reach and it will, will sit odd. So I can't put a well nut here. Down there, I need that little counter so that it fills in the flare right here. So that's my mark, more or less. And everything lines up up front, but in the back. See, that one sits there, that sits there, but I have a gap right there. This flare I have so warped because I've heated it up and cooled it down so many times that it's just warped in like many places because I thought that's where I needed and it turns out it's not. So I try to bend it back to its original shape and I could not. Also the door piece, it does not line up with the door very well. Yeah, I think that this kit was for a wagon, not for a sedan. If it was for a sedan, I think it'd be a lot closer. I know that the wagons have the wheel wells more close together. They're not as wide as the sedans. I really want to say that these flares are for a wagon. I might see if I could find some flares for a sedan online. They're gonna be different flares. I already have the fronts mounted up, so I don't need the fronts. If I could find just the rears, then I will 
will get away with that perfectly fine, but I really do not need another pair of fronts because I already have the fronts drilled out. I don't think I could drill anymore, and those actually fit really well now. I'm happy with the way they are now. Um, after I heated this one up and I bent it a little bit, it's a little stretched right now, and I think it's fine, but it's gonna stay that way. It looks good, so it's just gonna stay there. But as for the rear, I know the rear is not going to fit. I can keep trying to bend this, but it's just I'm always gonna have that gap in the back. And I thought about cutting them and then putting everything on the door piece and putting the door pieces together. And then when it closed, it just kind of fill in the gap, but it didn't really work out either. So as of right now, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to go about with the rear. I'm thinking about taking a weld nut from the front and putting one here. So then I can drill through, put the well nut, and hang this, and then manipulate the rest of the flare by just that one hanger. But I will need more well nuts to put around on the other two. See, everything lines up, but we have that gap. And that is a really big gap, and it looks like the tire would rub on it. I'm gonna do a bit of research, see what I can find. Maybe I can find flares for the rear that fit a little bit better. If I can, then I'll probably just go ahead and order those because I do need the rears to fit. I do need rear flares like the front was already wider as it was and the rear was skinnier than the front now the front is a lot wider than the rear and I can't widen the rear I'm gonna look around and see what I can find hopefully somebody has one here locally on the marketplace I'll go pick it up from them if not I'm gonna have to order the rear flares from eBay so after looking at this for a bit I think I can make them work I'm not sure how perfect that's gonna line up with this part right here but I'm pretty sure that I can make the door piece work. I'm pretty sure I can make the rear fender work. It's going to have a lot of stretching, but I got all my markings on this side. I think I'm going with the dot up here, one here, and then the one down there. The door piece, I think I'm going to shave so it fits flat with the flare, but for the most part, should not need a lot of modification to make it work with the actual flare piece. Right now, there's nothing else I can do. I'm out of well nuts. I could drill and use the well nuts off of the front like I wanted to from the beginning, but I really don't want to take off the front flares because they were not that easy to put on, so I don't want to take them off again. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull off the hood, swap on the old hood so I can work on this one. We'll do that tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll work on the hood. Right now, it's getting a little late. I'm going to pick up and I just ordered some well nuts. I ordered 15 more well nuts and I only have like 10 more pieces of hardware. So, I mean, I ordered extra well nuts just in case. Yeah, for right now, there's nothing else I can do. So I'm gonna throw the old hood back on so that I can work on that tomorrow. It sucks that the car's gonna stay like this. It actually looks pretty good. I didn't think that I'd like it, but it looks good. I need wheels, definitely need wheels and proper paint. But yeah, just kind of hide the back. I think that would look pretty good. That would look pretty mean. So I'm going to throw the old head back on so everything matches. Too bad we cannot get the rear piece on. That would actually look pretty sick. Well guys, she's all one color again, for the most part. It's nice to see, not gonna lie. I like to see the one color. I know that the other hood is a lot nicer, but it's nice to see just one color. These allergies are getting to me already. It's like not even May. So we only got the front flares done. Those turned out a lot better than what I thought they were gonna be because of when I started on that first one, it turned out really badly. Like it came out really badly. That gap was terrible. You guys saw it and it was, I could put my finger in that gap and that was just not, that was not good. Um, then I came over here on the other side and did it a little bit differently and it went on perfectly. On the rears, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. I feel like, I feel like I do have this side set up already the way that I want it, but I'm not 100% on it. Once those well nuts come in, I'll drill that out. I thought about pulling the well nuts off the front, the uh, front bumper, the front piece on the bumper. Again, everything's on the front. I want to leave it until it has to come out for faint. The rears, I know I'm going to have to mess with that fitment quite a bit. I know that I'm going to have to do quite a bit of stuff to the rear. So I have an idea of how I want to do the door, but I'm not 100% sure yet. I just kind of, I'm going to work on it. I'm definitely going to work on it. I probably will rivet it. The rear has to have flares because it has to cover up that rust. So I might just rivet it. But I want to make sure that the fitment is perfect before I rivet anything. That's why I want these well nuts in so that I can fit everything on. If I need to later, rivet it on so it stays on permanently. But for right now, 
I just want to temporarily and be able to pull it off if I need to, if that makes sense. Tomorrow we're gonna work on the hood for this car. I took it off, I put the stock one back on, and the hood scoop and everything. We're gonna work on the hood and tomorrow. We're going to fix the little, the hanger, the thing for the hanger, we're gonna fix that and we're probably gonna tack it. I'm not gonna weld anything like crazy. I'm just gonna tack it. I really wanna say weld nuts will hold the hood down as well over here on this side where I have to zip tie it. Because I was thinking about that when I was looking at this hood that is on right now, the old hood. I was looking for that little piece uh, that goes behind that has a thread so I could find it and tack it, but I could not find it. No matter how much I move around the hood, I could not find it. The blue hood, I think is the same way. The blue hood is missing one hinge. I can bolt down two on one side, but the other side, those hinges are missing. So I'm gonna have to either try to find those or like I said, use walnuts. I kinda wanna use walnuts. Riv nuts would be ideal because they're riveted and they will be on there more permanently, but I'm not exactly sure what size those are. So I might just order some walnuts throw them on the hood, we can rock it like that, it'd be perfectly fine like that. But I'm gonna end the video here guys, if you guys like the video, go down and hit that like button for me, comment down below, hit that subscribe button, I'll see you guys in the next one.